Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to control a PowerPoint or Word document or Excel spreadsheet from a remote, uh, your cell phone using a Bluetooth connection. For example, say you have a PowerPoint and you're presenting to a class or to a group of people and you now want to go to the next slide. Do you have to stand at your laptop or computer or can you control this from a cell phone for example now in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to control your powerpoint or word documents from a cell phone and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the microsoft website and get something called microsoft office remote so i just did a search and here is the microsoft office remote setup you'll download this link and then what it does is it installs a you'll install it, then what it does is it will install a little remote toggle switch into your office suite, your office application. So here it is, it says office remote and you see it, there's an option there that says turn on. And you can do this also for Microsoft Word, there's the remote, you can turn on, and also for Excel. So these are the popular uh, software that it works with and you can you turn it on in terms of the hardware requirements to allow your cell phone to control your laptop or computer you will need bluetooth because this is a bluetooth remote control i just purchased a what you call a bluetooth dongle and i just want to show you the version 4 there there are different versions of bluetooth for example i first bought this one and it was a very old one and i bought it from a shop which obviously had some old stock and this was version 2 it didn't work very well and then i bought another one and this is the version 4 and it actually says so that it meets standard of bluetooth version 4 okay so that will need to be installed now many laptops or computers already have bluetooth built in so you might need not need to do this i'll then demonstrate how to uh, set that up on your uh, windows software but this is if you do if you don't have a bluetooth uh, dongle this you can just go and buy one they're very cheap this one costs 160 rand which is equivalent in dollars to about 14 no about 12 dollars all right to set up the Office Remote on the Android phone, you will obviously go to the Play Store and then you will search for Office Remote as I've already done. You install it and once you have it installed, you should see this icon over here and it says Office Remote. You tap it and then it says Bluetooth is off on your phone. Go to Bluetooth settings and what you'll need to do is firstly switch on the Bluetooth. Then you'll need to have the visibility turned on and now your device has got a name and now what it will need to do is look for the Bluetooth computer that you are connecting to. Now I'll now show you what you need to do on the computer side. Right on the Windows side you just need to search for Bluetooth. You go to Bluetooth settings and then it should give you the option to control your Bluetooth dongle. Here are the Bluetooth settings. Uh, you'll need to pair your cell phone to your computer. I've already paired it. How you pair it is actually quite straightforward. You just um, use your pair, you press the pair button and then it gives you a code. Now on the cell phone, you should see the, the uh, request to pair and you check that the code is correct. You say pair. Now the Android is now pairing with the computer. Now once the phone sees the computer, then you uh, are able to now use the remote. Now I've just uh, accepted the, the uh, pairing request back to the computer. Now it's connected. Now I can close the settings screen and I can now go to the app. I now launch Office Remote and it says Bluetooth turned on, yes. And now it says here, choose your PC. So I'll see that my PC is there. There's the name of the PC. 
and it says connecting. Now you get this error, which is check, please check. And what it's asking you to do is to make sure that you've actually turned on the remote in the Office application. So now I've turned it on for the Word and on the Excel and on the PowerPoint. Now I'll go back to the remote and I'll say check it. Now you can see what's happened here on the screen. It shows me all the Office applications that are allowing remote control. For example, I allowed the remote uh, connection for the PowerPoint, I allowed it for the Word document, and I allowed it for the Excel spreadsheet. I'm now going to click on the PowerPoint, and as you can see, as I clicked on it, it starts the PowerPoint. So now my phone is actually separate from the computer and I can walk maybe it says 20 meters but that's line of sight and this is where the difference between the version 2 Bluetooth versus, versus say the version 4 and above the version 4 is the low power and it allows you to be further away so it's actually uh, more problematic to use an older Bluetooth dongle the newer one is better and now you can move along the slides as you wish and a nice feature is you can actually, uh, I don't know if you can see the actual laser pointer with my finger. So that works very nicely, again, also with the better Bluetooth dongle. I noticed there were problems with the older dongle. It was a bit slow. It did not see that uh, um, response of my finger. It was uh, very delayed. It was actually quite annoying. Okay, so now there's the PowerPoint. There are some settings you can do here. You can go through, maybe you want to go to slide 9, so it gives you some versatility, uh, you've got some settings here, but now moving on, if you want to go to your Word document, you can see that it allows you to scroll through the Word document, and there is a function to go up, down, zooming in, zooming out, Now, the Excel, I'll just show you for completeness. You can go through all the sheets. So it gives you some uh, good functionality, and that's how the system works, the Office Remote. Uh, so far, no problems outside of the Bluetooth issue. Other than that, it works fine, and it's a very handy thing to have if you are a presenter and presenting often to people. Alright, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Cheers.